The following is an introduction to a new discovery and to the beginning of a scientific revolution. Brought to you by the new energy industry. In order to start a scientific revolution, we really only need two things. A breakthrough in physics and a breakthrough in engineering. The good news is, we now have both of these. The Resonance Project in Hawaii have made a new discovery. They have discovered a new mathematical constant, kind of like pi, but this new constant is called the quantum gravity and the holographic mass ratio. But we'll just call it the mass ratio for short. And so far, this new mass ratio is able to solve Einstein's field equations, predict the new proton radius, and show us that the strong force is actually gravity. Here's the story. For the past century, physics thought that the proton was this big. However, breaking news: the proton is actually much smaller than we thought it was, four percent smaller. And this discrepancy in the radius of the proton is changing the foundation of physics. For example, the strong force in quantum mechanics. Now, what is the strong force? Well, you see, all protons are positively charged, which means they want to push away. Just like how these two magnets are pushing away from one another. The interesting thing is, however, despite the fact that protons want to push away, they are held together tightly within the nucleus of all atoms. When physicists realized this, they were baffled. They thought, "What force is holding them together? Could it be gravity?" No. Based on our calculations, gravity is not strong enough to hold these protons together. Therefore, there must be a really strong force. Holding them together. That's it. It's the strong force. It was at that moment the strong force was born in quantum mechanics, the strongest force in the entire universe, invented to help understand the quantum world. Okay, good so far. However, breaking news: the strong force is actually based on a four percent discrepancy in the radius of the proton. Shrinking the proton, the proton problem. Tiny proton, big problem. Ugh, that's not good. But it's not bad either. This proton problem is actually a really big opportunity. So, to all you young physicists out there who want to help create the future, the best place I know of to start is with the new mass ratio, because it's currently the only physics model on the planet today that is able to perfectly predict the new proton radius. Show us that the strong force is actually gravity, and it solves Einstein's field equations. You can't beat that. The test of science is its ability to predict, and the mass ratio is proving to be one of the coolest scientific tools science has ever had. Okay, cool, but I'm still wondering what is the mass ratio. Well, you know how pi is the ratio between circumference to diameter. Well, the mass ratio is between surface area to volume, but to fully understand the beauty of the mass ratio, we must first look at the smallest thing in the entire universe, smaller than an atom, a proton, and even quarks, all the way down to the Planck length, ten to the minus thirty-three centimeters, discovered by Nobel Prize-winning physicist Max Planck. Now, if we take this length and we make it the diameter of a sphere, we now have one Planck spherical unit, or one psu. This is a brand new unit of measurement in the world of science: the Planck spherical unit, the psu. There are two things we need to know about this psu before we can continue. We need to know its volume, and its circle area, basic geometry. Okay, good. Now we can use this information to find the mass ratio. Pretend this basketball is a spinning proton. Now, if we take the volume of a proton and we divide it by the volume of a psu, we get r, or the number of psu's within the proton. Then, if we take the surface area of the proton and we divide it by the Planck circle area. We get n, the number of areas that we can tile on the surface of the proton. 
Then, we divide the number on the outside by the number on the inside and we get the mass ratio. Surface area divided by volume using the PSU as a new unit of measurement. Understanding the mass ratio is understanding the future. Now, here's the exciting part. With the mass ratio, we now understand the geometric structure of a spinning proton, and we understand that their spin dynamics is caused by a fundamental torque in the fabric of space-time. With that, we can now engineer devices, generators, to harness this torque, to harness this spin, and to harness this source of clean and limitless energy. Impressive, I know. Now, it is my pleasure to invite you to join us on this exciting journey. It's really simple. Take a moment to share themassratio.com with your friends to help spread the word. Sharing is caring. The Mass Ratio. From there, become a founder of the new energy industry. Anyone can become a founder, but we are only looking for a specific number. If you would like to be one of them, please visit thenewenergyindustry.com and order your specific founder's coin today. Take the next step, and we will show you the future of energy technology. Thank you for watching.